Hot wave begins. First encounter. Hogwarts sighed, and it echoed within his empty halls. The students had all left for the summer, and he felt empty and useless. Hagrid was often around, but he was usually too focused on bizarre animals to fulfill the needs of Hogwarts. <coughs> Professors would pop in occasionally, but being a magic school, Hogwarts didn't need much upkeeping. The little he did need to kick the little he did need to was taken care of by Filch. He shuddered, causing small trembles throughout his halls that was barely discernible, except by the spiders and owls. He didn't care much for Filch, wishing he could walk without his feet touching his magnif magnificent stone floors. He had long since stopped trying to force his floors open to swallow Filch and Mrs. Norris whole. Besides, if he kept it up, he would be risking a prolapse staircase, and that was no laughing matter. <laughs> the, gi the giant squid saw how miserable Hogwarts was. It was true that he also missed the students, but for an entirely different reason. He missed their terrified screams as he revealed himself, rising from the murky depths of the lake. His huge eyes stared mournfully at his large tentacles. At one time, he had dreams of being an actor. The larger he grew, the fewer agents and scouts would come calling, until they finally stopped altogether. There wasn't much in the market for a squid that would split a squirrel, a split a squirrel girl from a stone. So good. We Bible block now. He stared at his tentacles as they moved gently in the current. Schoolgirls were out. A plan formed in his mind, and he swam to the surface hesitating momentarily before pulling himself out of the water. It ran off his rubbery skin and rivulets that made his way, and as he made his way across the grounds. No humans were around to witness the incredible trek, and no human would believe his eyes had he been a witness. Hogwarts watched as the giant squid approached and felt apprehension well up in his kitchen. Whoa, well, what are you doing? The words weren't spoken, but they were understood. Just trust me, baby. The giant squid replied, caressing Hogwarts' outer walls. Uh, I'm, I'm not ready! Hogwarts exclaimed, trying to push the giant squid away with his magic. Hogwarts, you're lonely. I'm lonely. We don't have to be. Besides, you can't go around manipulating your staircases. You, you know about that? Everyone does it. Sort of. That's, that's beside the point. I, I've never... The temperature within rose in embarrassment. I'll go slow. I promise. He began to caress a window, teasing it open. Hogwarts sighed, the fight leaving him. He relaxed, allowing the tentacle inside, where it brushed against the inner walls before settling on the stone floor. He fastened the suction cups to the floor, <coughs> lifting the tentacle away so that it pulled on the floor without losing its grip. Another sigh swept through the halls of Hogwarts. Oh, Merlin, that feels so good! His rapture turned <laughs> to fright as he felt a tentacle work its way into a second window. I, I, I don't... Trust me, it'll feel good. Remember this? He pulled the suction cups up a little harder, and Hogwarts groaned. Do that again. The giant squid complied, and as he did so, thrust his second tentacle in. Hogwarts shuddered, coming very close to ending the fun. The <laughs> giant squid backed off, unwilling to finish so soon. He waited for Hogwarts to calm down before sending the second tentacle to search the room. He felt the need to feel Hogwarts as much as possible, and he raised another tentacle, caressing his outer walls, running along window sills and tracing individual bricks. So caught up in the bliss, Hogwarts didn't notice the giant squid slip in a third and fourth tentacle. This is incredible. Hogwarts breathed. This isn't even the best part. He held up his two longest tentacles. These can reach farther than a room. They can go into your hallways. I want them in me! Are you sure? 
They're quite large. Apprehension rolled through his kitchen again. While he was deciding, the giant squid forced another tentacle in. You have three tentacles left to decide. Well, what happens if I don't? In response, the giant squid slid a sixth into another window. Two. He said simply, and with a hint of warning. Hogwarts couldn't, could take them all. He knew he could. But what would be, what would the other wizarding schools think? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Jesus. Would Bobatons allow a giant squid to violate her? Of course not. If Durmstrang ever found out, there'd be no end of teasing. The Based giant Russians. squid. The giant squid grew impatient and slid a seventh tentacle into a window, followed immediately by an eighth. Two, one. Time's up, and you didn't decide. What? But that's not fair. It's a simple answer. Yes or no. Now I'll have to punish you. And with that, he <laughs> struck Hogwarts square on the outer wall like a, with a paddle-like tentacle. <laughs> Hogwarts yelped and tried to squirm away, but the tentacles and his foundation held him firm. The giant squid struck him with another, Again and again, he spanked the naughty wizarding school until he sought for the giant squid to stop, and still he spanked. The giant squid finally stopped, but Hogwarts didn't have time for a reprieve before the giant squid forced his extra-long spanking tentacles into two separate windows. They slid through the room and forced the doors open, the pain only adding to Hogwarts' pleasure. The tentacles... We're in the halls now, massaging the long stone tunnels. This was incredible, the giant squid thought. He really should have done this ages ago. Every tentacle was in a different window. No schoolgirl, no matter how many movies she made, could hold all ten tentacles at once. Each one moved differently, and with a different pace, driving Hogwarts crazy with the in inability to match his speed. He felt that familiar feeling and doubled his efforts. Ink exploded all over Hogwarts, some finding its way into the windows. He unified his tentacles somewhat, completely focused on Hogwarts. He must be close. Then it happened. Water shot out of faucets, toilets overflow, and bread set in ovens to keep warm by thoughtful house elves exploded. Hogwarts shook violently to his foundations, rousing Filch from, bread, from bed and sending house elves and Mrs. Norris scrambling for cover. Even Hagrid heard the groan of stone and came running. They searched around the castle and through the castle, but found no sign of intruders. Most perplexing was the sticky ink on one side of the castle. Hagrid peered through the dark, through the dark toward the lake, but he was unable to see the ripples left in the wake of the giant squid. The squid slipped between, beneath the waves, wanting to grin even though his beak was incapable. He anticipated a very short summer before the professors and students returned, so he had better make the most of it. End. Ten out of fucking ten. Ten out of fucking ten. GG. That was truly beautiful. <laughs>